Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are feeling very purpley and we got some new tresses. So if you're interested in this video, stick around and keep on watching. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. Okay, so you guys know if I start the video like this, I am about to plug some hair, all right? Ain't nothing wrong with that because hair is such a huge part of getting glam. Without our hair, we are just lost. Now, some people like it bald, honey, but that ain't me, okay? More power to you, all right now, okay? Today's hair is from Sealy Hair, and I'm sure that's that's probably how you say that. And when I hear the name Sealy, I think about Oprah and the color purple. Hence, we're doing a purple look today, no. Oh, that's that just came to me <laughs> anyways this hair is their Brazilian straight hair now as you can tell I did go in and add some highlights and I did curl it a, a bit now I would say this is probably my third time to wear this so you're not gonna see me cut the lace because I've already cut the lace and I am working with a frontal today we're gonna be doing a little frontal action today hopefully you know what I'm saying like I can just put this on real quick because like I said in my previous video I'm just over sticking down frontal but I'm not gonna lie like when you want that nice slip down look like them perfect edges a frontal is great but I'm not going anywhere today so I do have a little bit of time to get glam and do some extra stuff you know so to, to, to be a little bit extra today all right <laughs> so let's get into it okay like I said in my previous video I have not I really want to master that like if somebody has some tips because I, I feel like all these videos they're just tricking me like you know oh it's glueless no it's not glueless like you know what I mean like they have something sticking on the edge they have to because how do you get this part to stay down you know what I'm saying like right here in the front like you know what I mean like, how do you get that to stay down like I do not know you know the only way that I have mastered to do that is to actually cut it so as you can tell if I cut all the way across here this would lay down completely because that's what's laying down that's where I'm feeling the tension like right across here it's just this little flap right here like but as you can tell in here is laying nice and flat so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stick down the edges yeah check the description box Sealy hair is absolutely bomb and this is some beautiful straight hair it was really really easy to lift I didn't leave it on long because it's still winter so I don't want to go too light but I did want just a little bit of highlights in there you get what I'm saying so I thought I did a good job and I did this using those Japanese bleaches you know like you, you can only buy like the little bottle I showed you that like a long time ago so that's another reason I didn't do the whole entire thing you know this is their Brazilian straight hair and I have in three bundles can you believe it that's pretty thick for three bundles sometimes I can't keep up I had to go and look for the information in the email <laughs> but I have in three bundles of their straight Brazilian hair and a 20 inch frontal and as you can tell I did go in and layer the frontal just in the front I only cut the front of the hair I didn't do anything to the back because I just wanted to frame my face a little bit. Let me go ahead and stick this down off camera and we're gonna be right back, okay? Okay, so I did one side, so I'm, I just decided I'm gonna just put it in the video so you guys can see. For those of you who are new, you might wanna actually see how I do this. So let me just go ahead and do that for you, okay? So I'm using the Gots To Be Glued freeze spray and this is actually really good, especially since it's winter. I'm not gonna be doing a lot of sweating, but in the summertime, you're gonna need something stronger than this if you're in a hot climate and you're moving about. Now, I'm just gonna spray it in my little jar here because I don't like to actually spray it around my face. I don't like when anything like that falls on my face. And I'm using my little double-sided makeup brush. <laughs> it has tissue on it, it looks busted. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna use the brush and brush it on and then blow dry it is basically what I'm gonna do. And I like to brush it on the actual lace as well, make sure it really sticks. I'm gonna flash dry my hair basically. Normally, a lot of people would do this with cool, but I find that if you flash it real quick with on heat and then go in with cool, it dries and sets a lot faster. Make sense? So first I'm gonna go in with really hot, just real quick, and then I'm gonna go in with the cool. Make sense? <laughs> And 
don't worry about the white stuff so much. A lot of times, like whenever I contour and put on my foundation, like it gets covered. The most important thing is to make sure that all the edges are down. Definitely check them out. They have really nice hair. The hair is bomb. You guys already know if it's not good hair, it is not going to make it to the channel. So with all that being said, all of the action for this hair will be in the description box as well as my full thoughts. So let's just jump right on into this makeup. <laughs> okay, so I am feeling very purpley today. I feel like I want to do like a purpley, smoky, cut crease, pinkish type of eye. So let's just jump into it, okay? I'm getting back into my colorful look. Not that I've ever left, but there was a time when I was giving y'all some neutrals. I'ma still give y'all some neutrals because I know my neutral girls are out there, okay? Don't you worry, your pretty little self. I got you, okay? But right now, today, we're gonna be doing purple. Got a purple because you know me silly is in the house, you know. <laughs> silly hair and purple. Can you believe it? It's like a good you know, you know, like <laughs> it's like what do you wanna call it? Like intuition. No, we're not dealing with that. We're not dealing with the voodoo stuff, no. It's just by chance. Let's just say that. There's that man. Sometimes you gotta wet throat. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is my brows. So I'm gonna be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. Nothing special, just fill them in. And look at this mirror, look at this. I just remember that they also sent me a little mirror, so adorable. And it has two mirrors, so one is natural and the other one is like magnifying. I thought this was so cute. I love these little incentives whenever they send, you know, hair, you know, it's better than the lashes, you know, like I love stuff like this send me stuff like this anyway boo we're gonna be using this today because it's super cute and it's purple like that's what I'm talking about Sealy, you know you know you remember like, when they were running in the, in the field and, and yeah I know what I'm talking about don't act like every time I film I forget to moisturize my lips and it's like the last thing I do and then by the time by that time my lips are like super dry I'm trying to remember to do this in the beginning of the video Okay, like, why are you sitting here with your dry lips talking to people? Don't do that. Now that we have our brows done, it's time to go in with our base and even out that eyelid space, get it nice and tacky for the eyeshadow and all of that good stuff. Okay, so today I am going to be using some Morphe palettes. The first palette I am going to go into is the 39P palette and it's the purple one, like with all the little purple hues. So the first color I'm going to go in with is this dark purple right here and I'm gonna be placing that on my outer V area and into my crease a little bit as well as my lower lash line. Now this purple is slightly shimmery, but not that much. It's not an intense shimmer, so I'm gonna get away with it in this area right here. And I'm really gonna pack this on because I want this to be nice and bright. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to be going into the Morphe 35C palette, and I'm gonna be taking this fuchsia shade right here, and with that, I'm going to start to buff out and blend out the outer edge area. Now that I have that, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. With this and my MAC 242, I believe, the number is gone, I am going to cut the crease a little bit. Okay, so going back into the 35P palette, I am going to be taking taking this shade right here. I'm gonna place this like in the middle and then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna place this like on the inner corner of the eye. Okay, so with the darker purple, the darker shimmery purple, I'm going to place that on the outer area right here. And now I'm just gonna flip the brush over on the other side and pick up the lighter shimmer purple and I'm going to place that on the inner third of the eye. So before I do anything else, I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and just wipe under my eye and kind of just clean up that outer edge a little bit. So I feel like I want to line my eyes. I was thinking about it really hard. Do I wanna line it or do I wanna put on my lashes? And just keep the look kind of, you know, but mm -mm. <laughs> we need a little wing wing with this situation. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go in and back curl my lashes. And I keep getting questions on where did I get this? This is by Tweezer Man, okay? This is in America. I had to order this from America, okay? This is not here in Japan, so you guys have access to this, all right? And the liner I'm gonna be using is by NYC, and this is their liquid black eye liner. I absolutely love this liner. It is very affordable and it's a beautiful matte black. Okay, so my wings are on and we are about to take flight. I tried to go light-handed with the wing, but it just, it 
we got carried away, okay? Anyways, my lashes today are by Flutter Lashes and this is the style Lovable. And I did split it down the middle for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. It's somewhere in one of my videos. I split it in half and I apply them, that way I can push them up a little bit more and that way I can wear like the full band without shortening it so I can have like that baby doll flare is basically what this does. Okay. Okay, so now that the lashes are on, the eyes are almost finished but it's time to get this face going because honey, this ain't quite it, okay? Face, you guys already know the drill. The first thing I'm gonna go in with is my Nivea cream. Now that I have that, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Primer and this is just gonna be the first primer that I put on. We're using Fenty today. A lot of you have been asking me about the new Fenty stuff, if I'm gonna be trying it. Of course I'm gonna be trying it, but you guys have to give me a little bit of time because I wanna make sure that I get the right shade because when this foundation first came out, I bought one, two, three, four, four foundations. Like, you know, that's a lot of coins. So I wanna make sure that I get it right this time. You know, so I'm being patient and I'm watching reviews, I'm looking at pictures and stuff until I can figure out, you know, exactly what um what shade I really am. Okay, so for my foundation, going in with the Fenty Beauty foundation, and this is in the shade 420. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing things in reverse. Normally I would go in and start to highlight my face, but whenever I do my highlight, like my concealer and stuff, I wanna set it right away. So instead I'm just gonna go in and contour the perimeters of my face and I'm using the ColourPop concealer in 56. So I'm gonna do this first and then I'll go in and contour, uh, highlight. <laughs> what am I saying? And I'm just gonna use my same little foundation brush and really blend that out. Now with my contour, what I like to do as well is kind of just get it into the lace as well to camouflage the lace. You know, to kind of tint any ashiness or any whiteness from the hairspray that I use. Just a little light contour. You know, lately I've been loving a lighter contour. Okay, so now that the face is contoured, it is time to brighten, basically. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with is the number 40 concealer by ColourPop. No, that's a lie. <laughs> Isn't that right, Z? Okay, all right, get it together now. First thing I'm gonna go in with is the Fenty Beauty Suede matte stick and with this I'm just gonna place this right in this area right here and I'm not gonna blend this out I'm gonna leave this because this is a cream to powder finish so I find that this concealer also helped to kind of like trap and block the oil production in that area so we look a lot more flawless throughout the day okay so it's been about two minutes honestly and I'm going to go in with the 40 concealer now by Colourpop and with this we're gonna brighten up this face we're gonna look snatched, we're gonna look bomb, we're gonna look highlighted, we're gonna look fresh face, we're gonna look glam. Now with this, I'm gonna take my Damp Beauty Sponge by Morphe and just blend everything out. And I'm always slouching in this section, like I'm trying to sit up straight. As soon as I start to do this, I wanna do this. I wanna get right up in the mirror. And now that we have that, we're gonna go in with another shade, which is a lot lighter. And we're gonna place this right in this area right here, and only right there. And not wasting any time, we wanna go in and set that. And for this, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder in golden beige. Set it right away. See how pretty that is? How smooth that looks. Really push it in there. Do you see what's going on here? Do, do you see the magic happen? Do you see? <laughs> Look at this. Whew, chap. Yes. What? Sometimes you just gotta blow yourself up now. <laughs> All right. Do you see what's happening here? Chap. Okay, so we're going in with my MAC NW45 powder. Where's my favorite brush? And my favorite brush for this is the Morphe E51. It's on that angle. So good for buffing, okay? If you go over there and you buy this brush because of me, put it in a message. I bought this brush because of Savannah Silva, okay? So I'm just gonna go in and buff in between the highlight and the contour, bring everything together. Sometimes I surprise myself. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna use the same powder to contour my nose. And I'm gonna be bringing out my Cupid's bow even more. So what I like to do is just take it right up under my nose and just sweep it down in there. This is the Morphe 9B palette. 
And with this, I'm gonna be taking these two shades right here. I love mixing these two shades. It's kind of like a mauve pinkish type of color, and they're really, really beautiful on brown skin. Yes. Today, for my highlight, I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Addiction Bronzified Highlighter. And this is a loose powder, honey, so you got to be careful. So I'm just gonna be taking what's ever in the cap, and that's a lot, that is a lot, okay? Oof, oof. Good look, low. that's good enough for me. I really wanna try putting it right here. I see some people do that, and it's really, really cute on them. But you know what I noticed, like, the people who do that have no shade. <laughs> People I see do that have cheek fillers, like they've announced it, and it looks great on them, you know that. But I don't have cheek fillers, you know, my face is just my face, you know, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So highlight normally looks better on the highest part of my face. I'm gonna hug up in here as well. I don't know, one day, one day I'm gonna get brave. Not today though, not today. And let's put a little bit under my brow bone area. Okay, so with my Kunafa powder by Huda Beauty, I am going to just sweep under the eyes, just sweep, and this is just gonna brighten it up even more. You know what I'm saying? Like just a little sweep, sweep, just a wash over. You see, and this side starts to look a lot brighter than the other side. So let's finish off the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is go back into the 35P palette, the purple palette by Morphe, and I'm gonna be taking this shade right here, which is actually like a shimmery, champagne-y type of color, and I'm gonna put that right in the tear duct area. I'm also gonna take the light purple right here and place that right on top of that, and that should make it a lot brighter. When you put a white base underneath something, the color becomes a lot more bright. Okay, so we're getting down to the final touches. So the next thing I'm gonna do is do my mascara, and to thicken up my lower lashes, I'm going to be priming them with the Maybelline Lash Primer. Okay, and to coat my lashes, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. Now that the mascara is on, it is time for the lips. So first I'm going to line, well, I need to remove this gloss because, <laughs> okay, we want this to be done right, right. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go in and line. And for my liner today, I'm using the BFF3 liner by ColourPop. And I'm just gonna rim my lips with this. And for my lip color, I'm using another Sugar Pill liquid lipstick. And this one is called Trifle. I absolutely love their liquid lipsticks. And for my gloss on top of this, I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Liquid Lipstick in Seduction. Now this is supposed to be like a liquid lipstick, but it's more on the glossy side. Hey guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini get ready with me. Don't forget to check out Sealy Hair. This hair is, look at it. It speaks for itself, it's absolutely bomb. Everything, all the information for this hair will be in the description box. Thank you so much for your love and support. It never goes unnoticed and I truly do appreciate it. Follow me on all of my social media platforms which is Instagram and Snapchat, everything is under Savannah Silver. Don't forget to like this video, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video with your friends and your family, all that good stuff. Bring them on in, it's a clean channel. I keep it clean over here, I keep it PG, I keep it very, very friendly. So Everybody is welcomed, okay? That being said, thank you so much, and until the next video, I will see you guys real soon on the next one.